Welcome back to Bougie Bravo Bitches, where we talk all that Bravo tea from basic to bougie. We're your hosts. I'm Jenna. I'm Darcy. And I'm Amanda. Let's get into it, bitch. You guys, it's our 40th episode. (laughs) So crazy. That's wild. really crazy. That's like 40 weeks in a row of Of dedication. Recording podcast. Pregnancy. Literally. We birthed a bougie bravo baby. Yeah, we did. So wild. So crazy. I love it. It's our just, I love it being our dedicated like gap time together. I love that I still think no one's out there listening, even though I know they are. So (laughs) if you're out there, thank you so much for listening to these last 40 episodes. We appreciate it greatly. Mm-hmm. Lots of good Bravo this week. Vanderpump Rules is back. Um, that's it. That's new. But lots of great Bravo this week. Lots of reunion tapings. Andy's on like the reunion tour. He has one left. I have not <laughs> seen Potomac tape yet, so mm. he has to do that one still. And I haven't seen any looks come out. Zero looks. What are we waiting for? Show us the looks, please. Um, you guys. I was speaking of Vanderpump, but like, you know how like the Valley is coming out and I was reading this article about how Stassi, like why she didn't want to be, do the Valley. And it was nothing like crazy. She's just like, these are not like, I like all of these people a lot, but it's just not where I am in my life and they're not my friends and I don't live in where Valley village or whatever. Then it says in the article, the amazing race alum says, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the fuck? How did I never know she was on the amazing race? How did I never know this? Heard her original chin. Oh my god, oh my she's god. so hideous. She <laughs> Those pictures. She like a chin implant for her did absolute wonders. Oh, yeah, she, she looks, looks amazing. Great. Just the right size too. Mm-hmm. But how did I like never? Know? I literally watched the Amazing Race. I mean, I guess I haven't been watching it my its entire duration. But how did I Clearly never know not. that? <laughs> it is kind of funny because all of these like people got their start doing something else. Like, wasn't Tom Sandoval in some weird music video or something like earlier on? Yes, and I think he also had an appearance on The Hills, too. That's what it was. It wasn't a Uh music video. It was The Hills. You're right. Yeah, he was like a model on The Hills. Yes. Yes. Sheena's been in a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 They're all, these all, all these people are just recycled. Recycled Trying to make their big break. And Vanderpump Rules was it. My gripe with any VH1 show is they're all like recycled people. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. They are. Anyways, I learned something new every single day. Um, also, in some Vanderpump news, Ariana made her Broadway debut doing Chicago. I think it was the day before VPR premiered. Mm-hmm. Exciting for her. She's not doing that many like shows, right? It's, it's six like weeks. A... Yeah, that's not very long. Maybe it is, though. Who knows? I guess six weeks. You could do a lot of shows in six weeks. Yeah, three yeah. shows a week. While she was debuting on Broadway, Tom Sandoval was debuting on Nick Vial's podcast. I actually hate both of them. I'm just going to say that. Who, Ariana and Tom Sandoval? No, Tom Sandoval and Nick Vial. Oh. I don't care for Nick Vial. I think he's annoying. Who is he? He was on The Bachelor. So he was um, he was on The Bachelorette like as a contestant trying to date, to date one of the girls. No. Maybe he was the bachelor first. I, he's been on it like multiple times, which is like unheard of because mm-hmm. usually you like get married and move on with your life or you just move on with your life. <laughs> he was on Andy Dorfman's season as the contestant. Maybe they actually got together. I think it didn't work out or he got booted, whatever. He came back on Caitlin Bristow season. He was second runner up. Then he went to paradise like three times. He's married or engaged to, or impregnated someone now that like is not <clears throat> – part of bachelor nation but he does this podcast with like all, he just did it with like um whitney like he's always having bravo people on it i'm like you're a bachelor go to bachelor like all go with the rest of bachelor nation to san diego where they all live thank yeah, you yeah because i see like everybody post about it and it's always bravo people i'm like who the fuck is this this jabroni it is so, weird. there you have it he's annoying it's just like dude you're a contestant on the bachelor like you're not fucking famous for anything just saying Then again, that's what they say about the Kardashians, so maybe I'll shut up now. (laughs) Um, I was really proud of us slash me because we trolled Anne-Marie a little bit on our Instagram. (laughs) So she posted a picture of herself at a basketball game wearing a Gucci scarf, a Chanel bag, Prada boots. I'm like, this is way too many fucking labels. 
And I all I could think of was when Jenna Lyons told Jessel, like, you don't need to be wearing, like, Ale- what was she wearing? Alexander McQueen and, like, or Alexander Wang and, like, Balenciaga or something like that. She was like, no, two labels is too many. Like, no, you need the full fit or nothing. Like, what yeah. are you doing? What are you you'll doing? Never see, you'll never see Dorit in double labels. No. Full Me fit either. or no fit. Mm-mm. Me neither. <laughs> What did Target. you say? You don't miss your Target with your J Crew or something. Yeah, like Banana that? Republic and Target. You can't mix them. <laughs> I don't mind, like if you're mixing something that's another label, but it's like not like a, a, with like branded all over the yes. place. Yeah, so, like be that's subtle. A different story, right? Like if it's just like a plain shirt or like a plain pair of sneakers or something like that, it's fine. I do that. I do not mix things. Like, she had literally, like, the Chanel pink bag, a bright pink Gucci scarf that was, like, G's all over it, and then the very obvious Prada combat boot that have the little pouches on the side. Too much. Too much. Too much. She's too much. Too much. She's way too much. I didn't... Did you watch her on Watch What Happens Live last night? I could not. No. I'd fall asleep. So... Apparently, she responded to the anesthesiologist community's (laughs) shady post, but I don't know what she said. She looked really pretty. Yeah. I saw like a clip of her responding to and she basically said like they don't like the certified nurse anesthetist and like that's what this beef is. Dr. Tiffany Moon put up a response saying that's not what this is. You are representing yourself as a doctor when you are a nurse anesthetist. Is Dr. Moon an anesthesiologist? Mm, Plastic surgeon, I think. Really? I thought so. Maybe not. Now I'm going to look it up. Yeah, look that up. I need to know what kind of doctor she is. The doctor is Tiffany Moon. Oh, Oh, anesthesiologist. You're right. Oh, okay. That's funny. Her and Nicole are anesthesiologists. That is funny. It's actually a really smart medical profession to get into because you have the most money and you do the least amount of work. Yeah. Good for them. Good for them. Um, We were not the only ones to shade. Miss Anna Marie, Anne Marie, whatever her name is, because if you guys saw Bryn's post, she <laughs> went to Switzerland to freeze her eggs or whatever she was doing, and she came back. And she's like, "Ask me about my egg freezing journey." I'm not a medical, spe- I'm not a medical doctor like Anne Marie, but I can tell you my experience. <laughs> <laughs> the shade. It was funny. Love it. I love it too, and it made me miss her a little bit. <laughs> I guess they are going to be doing another season because. I don't know who this is. Amanda knew who it was, but some TikTok star posted literally on her account today. Like, in it was talks, fake. It's it course, like, Amanda Romy. knows. First of all, it's fake because when you're in talks, you don't come out and say, I don't like this lady on TikTok. She's annoying as fuck, whatever. What does she do on TikTok? She's just like a content creator. She's, she's like the ring concierge. concierge? Okay. Yeah, she like makes jewelry or whatever. I don't really even know. I just know she's annoying. And it's just to drive engagement on her TikTok. Because first of all, if you're in talks to be on Roni, you don't say you're in talks. It's never come out. So she just made that up. So but I like guess if you're a dumb TikTok person and not like someone who's like used to contracts or things like that. then Well, she runs you her own business. Yeah. Like she knows. She would know better, I would yeah. assume. Because I saw this floated around a couple of weeks ago. Oh, her? Oh. Yeah, her name. But it's well, just like. What's her name? Ring concierge. Oh, I don't oh, know. No, uh, that's not a <laughs> <that's not government. laughs> She's not important enough for me to Ms. know. Miss concierge. Miss <laughs> concierge. Listen, is that you? if you go to New York City Influencer Snark on Reddit, you can read all about her. I am I I just trust you from the Reddit report. I don't have an account. I don't have time for that. Yeah, I'm not sorry. really big on TikTok either. Yeah, Amanda yeah. is. I, I know. I just don't have time. I'm mean, like the gram is like enough for me. Yeah. To be honest. You put in a lot of work on the gram. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Nicole Wegman is her name. And I, I did some digging to see if she's of any relation to the Wegman grocery empire. And I don't think so. Oh, okay. Most but people But they don't do know have about a daughter Wegmans. named Nicole Wegman. Wow. Not the same. Lots of research. Good to know. On someone we're probably never gonna see. Glad we wasted <laughs> this three minutes. <laughs> Anywho, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion also filmed last week. Um, Kathy Hilton is apparently making an appearance. Did you guys see that? She looks why? great. But like, why great. is she making an appearance on the reunion? Is she making an appearance on the show? No, she maybe for is her and Kathy Kyle. Hilton. Yeah, yeah, to She's have amends. Oh, maybe they're doing some wild things with reunions these days. The seating chart wasn't super exciting. To the right of Andy was Sutton first chair. Garcelle, then Crystal. To the left of Andy was 
Kyle in the first chair, then Erica, then Dorit, then An- Anna Marie. I don't know what where, to call it. Where is Sutton's esophagus going to be sitting? Oh, that's a good question. In Andy's lap. Oh, perfect. Or in Anne Marie's <laughs> lap so she can watch it. <laughs> Maybe it'll be in her it Chanel out. bag. I'm going to stretch it out. <laughs> the Gucci scarf on it. <laughs> Anywho, okay, the news that came out this week was that Morgan and Kyle have, like, completely scrubbed their Instagrams of one another. Break up. Yeah. Or fake up. What do you think? I know. Some people are like, it's fake. It was for ratings. Now she's going to go back and be with Mo. Like, what do you guys think? What do you know. think? I'm, I'm like, watching the fingernails. Okay, so if we're going to go... Ew, so I told you. I told I you. Don't... They're not... It's not a representation because long nails are chewy now so everyone has short nails do Look not use Jenner. that word on chewy? this podcast first i of thought all. that you made a typo what does that even mean <laughs> she it spends like, too much time on tiktok i do i do with the what use. is chewy <laughs> the, chewy means like lame loser oh my wow. god i'm never saying that word <laughs> and don't use it on this podcast again i know every you shut it, your mouth I thought it was you funny. Shut, I stop it you're trying, i know what you're stop trying it right now literally when you typed that in our group chat i'm like oh she must be using siri again i was like i, I was night. i'm like siri. wonder what she really meant <laughs> at least it's not in spanish <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay God. i only go off of what kylie jenner does so she has short nails now well so. guess what look at these almonds these she's red showing almonds. us long almond nails and they're going to stay that way until, well, that's from Christmas. Do you see how bad they are? I got to go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. I'm fucking tired. Honestly, you want to know something? Love having my nails done. Hate fucking sitting there. Hate it. I know. Same. Hate it. I don't have Same. two and a half hours. I hate it. I It looks like you just go faster already. I know. Yeah. I feel you. So I'm doing that tomorrow. While I need there. my hair dyed desperately. And I'm like, I just made an appointment to get a haircut. I'm like, I can't sit here for seven hours on a Saturday. <sighs> I don't lot. have it in me. I hate that. I'm going to watch Traders while I sit there. So, That's Ooh, good. I can't wait to watch that. I'm I going know. to Florida. I'm going to put some fucking sun in, in my hair and hope it lightens. Okay, there you go. When are you Bringing leaving? it back. Oh, March. Right? on Wednesday. No, oh. the 28th Wednesday. Yeah. This month. Woo-hoo. Oh. oh. February. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the 28th. Yeah, through March. Yeah. 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 Anywho, um, Housewife and Hustler Part 2 is coming to Netflix. Did you guys watch Part 1? That is the no. uh, Tom Girardi, like Erica Jane sure scandal. Did. Or not Netflix, Hulu, Hulu. sorry. Hulu. Sure did. Um, well, Part 2 is coming on February 12th, which is also my anniversary. If you guys were wondering. Oh. Yeah. Do you see the Bravo docket is on it? Oh. They're oh. one of the talking heads. That's Good cool. for them. Mm-hmm. Good for them. That's awesome. I love the Bravo docket. They have another episode about Tom Girardi out right now, actually. Um, Caroline Manzo is suing Bravo. So I think we talked about it last week how we I said Rug It 4 is never airing. It's never happening. It's never fucking airing. <laughs> Sorry, not gonna happen. Definitely not gonna happen now. But she so she's suing the network. She's not suing Brandy. And now Brandy but- is basically coming out blaming production. In their contracts, they're not allowed to sue one another. So everyone's like, oh, I, why isn't she suing, oh. suing Brandy? But they're not allowed to. How do you know they can't. that? I heard it somewhere. Brandy said something What if on there's Twitter like real it? like legal beef? Can they just not you, sue, each something, sue each other over something show related? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I didn't read that in depth of the contract. It would no, be I've very interesting to have that Bravo would protect them in that way when the contracts literally like barely protect them at all mm-hmm. anywho so, vicky made us vicky who the fuck brandy tweeted today very inspired by hearing cat williams speak his truth all in caps about to do the same fuck fn thing parentheses after i check with my lawyer are you ready for it <laughs> look what you made me do so oh my god I just, like, I can't even, like, look at her with her, like, face transplant. It's too much for me. So, maybe she did get inappropriate, but I also, you know, this will probably get me canceled. I don't believe a word out of Caroline's mouth. I think she is gutter trash and a liar at that, so. I think there's probably, like, a little truth on both sides, but the reality is we're never going to find out. Exactly. 
That's that. Uh, Teresa was on Jimmy Fallon this week, and she was also in Miami for a little girls' trip with Jen Aiden and some other. So let me say this: I don't know if it's true, and I just is like like a little bit of Dumois, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. T and L may be going through a breakup. Did you hear that, Darcy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Mm -hmm. then they posted a picture like the next day. Yeah, but so. you never know. Well, I feel like just because they're always posting each other and then, like, she was away and didn't post him does not mean Maybe that's why he came up. Yeah. Anyways, but she also met up with her with her counterpart, Alexia, <laughs> which all I could think about during the Miami um, episode this week when they're in the church and it's, like, Alexia's idea is when they go to the church what, um, on – on uh, New Jersey like I don't even remember what season it is but they're like in the church that's like attached to the place that they're staying do you remember what I'm talking about I don't remember where they were they were on a cash (laughs) trip somewhere maybe it was when they were in Italy I don't know but they're like in a tiny little church and she's like praying Joe Judice there anyway Salt Lake City starts filming February 5th and baby gorgeous got bangs for the new shoot what do you guys think about bangs she's got to be going through it to make (laughs) A hair change like that. I'm not into bangs. Absolutely not. I'm not even into those kinds of bangs. Those little like feathered like Mm-mm. flyaway separated type bangs. Nope. Not for me. Although Lala had them in the episode that premiered and I thought she looked pretty good. I feel like it's hard to pull off. It's they're, they're hard. To, it's like hard to grow them out. That's really the yeah. problem. It's like they're hard to pull off and then what do you do with them? What do you do with them? Headbands. Yeah. Like poverty. No. Uh, I hate that girl. I hate her and her stupid fucking headbands. Headbands are so 2022. Are they chuggy, Amanda? They absolutely are. They can't. They cannot. Um, Below Deck, a new Below Deck is coming out this Monday. Are you guys excited? I hope it is better than what we just had. And I think anything will be better than what we just had. So I feel like regular Below Deck, like not Matt or any of the other ones, is pretty consistent. But we're not getting Captain Lee. We're getting Captain Carrie. So Mm -hmm. this is a new captain, correct? He was Below Deck Adventure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't watch that. Which I actually liked him. I just feel like like the whole concept of the show and the cast was weird. Heather Gay was actually on the show. She went with um, Angie Harrington and her husband Hmm. on a little yacht adventure. And it was in, like, a cold place. Like, it wasn't, like, a warm yacht excursion. It was, like, in a cold river somewhere. Oh, interesting. Do you see Jill Zarin is one of the charter guests for Below Deck? Oh, I that's didn't. fun. I mm-hmm. didn't. On this season? Uh-huh. Coming? Oh, I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. That's interesting because she was on a really long cruise recently, which I don't think is the same. Yeah. But, anyhow. Good for her. She lives down the street. Should I go visit? Yes, I love her. She's here most of the time now. I don't think she really goes to New York anymore. Ramona's also here quite a bit. Colonizing? Colonizing. She's here. literally I just was she just posted herself at the colony today. I can't. Colonizing. Tell. I die. <laughs> okay, we need to just really briefly discuss this because I don't even want to give it the airtime that I just don't want to give it any airtime, but we're going to. So, Two T's and a Twat, the stupid fucking podcast, now has, like, two <laughs> spinoff podcasts. One is The Eds, starring Eddie and Edwin. <laughs> Who stupid. wants to listen? I don't want to listen to these two idiots. Now I have to listen to their husbands? Are you kidding me? Why? Not for me. What are they even going to talk about? I have no Not idea. Not interested. Then yesterday, another spinoff comes out, comes out called Popping Off, and it's with... Emily Simpson and she who shall not be named John Mellencamp's daughter. Why, Emily? I said, Emily, you're done. You're like, done, Emily. Also, you're done. I, what I don't understand is like you already do a podcast with a real housewife of Orange County. Why are you doing a second podcast with a second real housewife of Orange County? It doesn't She's make collecting sense. Collecting them like infinity stones. Make it make sense. Like, money must be tw- tight in the Mellencamp house. <sighs> like, just I just stop. don't get who's listening like who is your audience like is are that many people really interested in what fucking teddy i have never heard anyone be like i like teddy she's great like never one person never been on a list of like anybody's favorite housewives (laughs) actually i didn't mind edwin but he's married to teddy tedwin (laughs) 
Anyways, um, I just thought this was cute. Some of the old Real Housewives of Dallas girls were hanging out. Cameron, Carrie Duber, Steph Holman, and Leanne. And then I just thought, I kind of miss them. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Dallas because some of them were pretty racist and homophobic. But hmm. do you miss Dallas is the question. I've never watched it. You haven't? haven't? It's only like five seasons. Watch it. I miss Dallas' husband. Oh yeah, he's hot. I miss her. Yeah. I miss Mama D too. Her yeah, mom. same. Yeah. Okay, well, Darcy, you have homework. Watch it. <laughs> I can't take. I can't it's take so it. good. You have. You honestly have to if you want to know like anything about the history of Bravo. You have to watch it. <laughs> this is called History of Bravo. It's a class. <laughs> What's you, that, Amanda? I, I just enrolled you. You don't need to watch it to learn the history of Bravo. <laughs> I feel like it is a big part of Bravo's history, and you need to watch it. Mm, it's nice. I could say, okay, you know what I can say? You don't need to watch The Real Housewives of DC, which was one season. You don't need to watch that, even though there is a really large piece of Bravo history that happens in the last episode. But in order to be a true Bravo fan, I feel like you have to have watched Dallas. And, and now we've said it. Now I've said it. Is that your opinion? It's a fact, but whatever. <laughs> uh, when is Dubai coming back? I don't understand why they gave us an episode one at BravoCon and then like nothing. Yeah. I think it's going to be March. I saw floated okay. around, I which is going to give April. us March. Jersey's going to be April. Yeah. yeah. Dubai will be but March. Was Dubai on Bravo or was it just on Peacock? No, it was on Bravo. It was? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Couldn't remember. It's been a really We're long time. Summer House comes out February 22nd. Sure does. Yeah. I'm pumped true. for that. We're going to be running a housewife deficit in the spring. Because they aired 50 million it. fucking things at once and now they've got nothing. We have too many housewives right now. Four housewives at the same time is a lot. I don't. But again, they don't, they know a lot of people don't watch as much TV in the summer. You're having a bad, like I get it. I get it. Yeah. I don't know. I've just never seen us only have like one housewife on at the same time. It's weird. I don't understand it, but. I'm well, going with you, Bravo. Two, Dubai, gonna... and there's going to be two. Dubai. And Jersey. 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 Summer House and Vanderpump and Below Deck. Yeah. Southern Hospitality has got to be ending soon, too, I'm assuming. I can't imagine they're going to get more than 10 to 12 episodes. Mm-hmm. Anyways, one more piece of news. Take it away, Amanda. Kim went to the police station and said Croy stole her jewelry. Did you just have a small stroke? When did it happen? <laughs> I almost said courthouse, and I'm like, oh. it's not the courthouse. And also, they were supposed to have court, and I'm so pissed off. They were supposed to have court on the 29th for their house. Kim probably paid somebody to do this. They hacked, somebody hacked the Fulton County website, or whatever, and they couldn't do anything. Oh, so yeah. It was canceled. She posted that so, picture of herself. Thank yeah. you, Big Papa. Yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did the picture say? It was like... Sometimes, this, like the good things are like unexpected. Or yeah, some shit yeah, to yeah. That Kim, you just you just got a delay, all right, Kim. Yeah. You're you're you paid somebody to hack the website. I know. Could have just paid so, your bills with that money. She should have. Mm. She, she should have. Apparently, it was like a twenty five thousand dollar bracelet or something. I'm like, even if he did steal it, he probably just did it to feed his fucking children. Right. So he probably bought it for you too. Yeah. So that's probably all. So. Well. To be continued. We'll find out what happens, hopefully. Um, Let's get into the shows of the week. We had Southern Hospitality at the end of last week. They took a cast trip to Miami. And I wanted to say this when I was sick like a week ago. Vanderpump Rules was playing like all their old seasons. And when they go to Miami, literally they go to the Dreams Hotel. That's where they stay. They get a champagne when they come in. It's like literally recreating (laughs) Vanderpump Rules 10 years later. It's the same. It worked once. Also, the Dream Hotel, like, if you go on Expedia, you could get a room for, like, $200 a night. It's, like, nothing. But it is really cute, and it is, like, a nice little boutique hotel. And it's close to everything, so good for them. Um, I feel like we got to see the version of O'Sheen that was grossed everyone out on Vanderpump when he groped Charlie, because he was pretty nasty. He's fucking girls. trash. Yeah. Straight trash. Slapping that girl, slapping Emmy's ass, like, wasn't enough, I guess. And then berating them. Like, just dick moves all around. Not a fan. That's kind of when you get mad at Bravo, too, for, like, recycling someone that has already done something that's pretty gross and cancel-worthy. Yeah. It's like, Bravo, what are we doing? Do you want to be involved in what's the reality reckoning? (laughs) Because if Mm. you do, keep hiring these kinds of people. Yeah. Wasn't wasn't a fan. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and that's like kind of all that happened. And like Lucia and Brad kiss, and it looked super awkward and not authentic at all. It looked sloppy. That, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was weird. And that's really the end of the episode. But they are still in Miami tonight. So I guess we'll find out what happens. To be continued. Anything else on Southern Hospitality? Also known as Soho. Soho. No. No. So no. no. So no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's get to our favorite show of the week then. Traitors. Yes. Let's talk about the traitors. Is that how you, is that a Scottish accent? Did I yes. get it right? I think you it's can. close you enough. Can. It's like Shrek, right? That's like the Scottish accent. <laughs> it's not? Isn't that where Shrek Ooh. is from? Wait, who called who? Oh, donkey, donkey, head? donkey, Scottish, right? No, wait, who called? Oh, Brian called Malia Shrek. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Heather Gay was Shrek. It's isn't that yeah. what Tran Shaw called her? Yeah. Tranny Shrek. Yeah. But wasn't it in Summer House too? Yeah, it was in Winter House. Brian, Benny, Malia, yeah, Brian, Malia, you look like Shrek. It's a compliment. An, an ogre. <laughs> an ogre. You've got layers. Yeah. <laughs> Not an onion. An ogre. Oh. Okay. Anyways, we get. To- Back to the castle for the traitors. And we start off with Phaedra kills off Tamara. No remorse. Doesn't give a fuck. Just says, bye, bitch. The I, love great. I love that. I love to it. See it was it. really smart on her part because, first of all, all these faithfuls are stupid anyways. But, like, they're not going to suspect that a housewife is a traitor now because why would she kill off yeah. two, mm-hmm. basically? Tamara crying. I'm like, get a, give it a rest, bitch. Hey, she <laughs> really needed that money. She's like, I gotta go home. I'm gonna go home to my husband and children. I'm like, your children? Half of them don't even like you, and the other half are, like, fucking gross and racist. Well, just Ryan, I guess. She, um, she tweeted, like, oh, I can't wait for the reunion. Fade yeah. just got something to answer for, or something along those lines. And it's like, bitch, bye. Right. It's a game show. It's the Do name of the game. I know. Do they not understand? It's a game show. And I'm Maybe I'm... I'm cold blooded. I don't know. I have no. No, well, no. Tamara has no loyalty ever. So, like, for her to think that anyone should extend loyalty to her, get fucked. I think Thank what's. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. I don't like Tamara. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> um, I think what's interesting is that Phaedra comes in saying, like, she's really only loyal to Sheree, but she did do a whole season of Girls Trip with Tamara. So that is kind of funny. <laughs> it's like they don't even know each other. I don't know her. Was she there? Was she, there for she in the Berkshires? They're only there for like six days. So it's like you can't even like. I mean, I, don't know. You don't I just know think anybody it's funny. after six days. I just think it's funny. Um, everyone seems to have been on to Dan, and then he like turned everyone against Chanel. But Chanel kind of sunk her own battleship. She, she should have just named one. one. I know. I agree. She's just she was too loud. Why did she have to be like CT Sandra Dan? Like, bitch, one, one. I know. Now you just made three people vote for you. Stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, first of all, we have to talk about the mission because the like this, the last <laughs> missions were like hard. These missions are so funny. Like making bird sounds and then go find the bird that makes the same sound. And then I like, really enjoyed that. Pilot P like coming up with like a strategy. I'm like, who knew the bachelor was going to be so smart? If he, everyone on Reddit is like, if he takes out the best big brother player of all time, I'm like, I hope he does. I don't like Dan. And I, I think hope he's a punk. Ugh, he's yeah. so annoying. I hope people love him though. Big brother people like love him. I don't know what I watched hope, Big Brother. I've never watched him either. Mm-hmm. Not into those. What I hope is that Phaedra and Pavarotti like <laughs> Poverty? Stab, Poverty. Stab, him, <laughs> stab him in the back. If they were smart, that's what they would do. They would but I feel like what I think it's Dan. I think it's Dan. Him and Parvati want to stab Phaedra because they both know they cannot win if Phaedra's there, which is true. She's smarter mm-hmm. than them and she's less less but likely sketchy. to be a traitor to everyone than they Paul are. Body knew that P- Pilot Pete, she called it. She's like, he's lying. He made that up. And oh, yeah. Dan was like, no. So I hope Dan goes down. down well, so dumb. if they decide to kill Bergy, then it will be obvious. And Not Bergalicious. I know. I don't I think know. they're going to kill him because it would be too obvious. No, I think they the are. game would be over. Dan. No, because they can get another traitor. They just get another traitor. I don't know. I don't know if that happens. Think weird no, things are happening. Happens. Kate comes back as like a full time cast it. member. But anyways, I don't know why people think Pilot Pete would be so stupid. Ari made it to the end, and he was the Bachelor last season. So Bachelors maybe aren't that dumb. 
Yeah, you're right. You know, you got to get to the final row somehow, people. But I hope that Dan gets kicked out. The same. same. Yeah, he's annoying. I'm watching also, tonight and I'm ready for it. I don't want them to get rid of Bling Empire guy, but he's so fucking annoying. No, he's like, Kate, could you pay attention till I'm done talking, please? He's like, nobody talk when I'm talking. I'm like, bro, I'm going to need you to I chill because 14 people called you dumb already. She's like, I get it. You want to vote for Janelle. He's like, no, but you don't understand why. <laughs> so annoying. So Kate returns. And I thought she was just making like a cameo. I didn't know she was just coming back as a player midway through the game. Love it. I do too. I, I wonder if it's because Deontay left. Yeah, if they had her, really they wanted to fill Scotland. Maybe mm-hmm. that would be a really quick turnaround to get her there yeah. overnight, basically, because it was only two days ago. Like oh. I said, maybe they had her. She waiting. has a baby. Yeah, waiting I think she was waiting wings. in the wings. Oh, that's like a saying we probably got right, I think. Waiting in the wings. <laughs> Is it waiting in the wind? No. <laughs> um. So anyways, that idiot Janelle gets banished by the faithfuls. But honestly, I think they just thought she was annoying. I don't even think anyone thought she was really a traitor. They were just over her. They basically Fair said, enough. if you're not a traitor, you're a faithful. We can't trust. Yeah. That'll be on tonight at 9 p.m. I'll Jazz. be sleeping, but I'll watch it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Potomac Potomac not getting I've much nothing to say. I I've don't want to watch Wendy and say. Candace anymore like I don't want to watch them and that is why I'm bored it's so, so bad I don't care about Wendy I don't care about why are you waking your child up at 4 30 in the morning to give him a cupcake I don't understand that like can you give him a birthday cupcake at a normal time of day 4 32 a.m what are you fucking doing I don't understand wild what is maybe that's what when he was born? Maybe he was born at that time. Let him oh. sleep. Yeah, weird. Oh, I wouldn't wake up my children at that time. Fuck that. So weird. It's gonna be me. So weird. I just don't need it. I don't need her. But anyways, so what was funny was Karen going to lunch with Ray, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> "We're on a day date," and then she goes, "It's happy hour." Turn the page where the prices say, "I love my wife." You're not doing the happy hour menu. <laughs> Which is something I would say. (laughs) I'm a full-priced bitch. Thank you. But I love an early dinner. Yeah, I like an early dinner, but I'm a full-priced menu bitch. That's just me. (laughs) So Karen, in Karen fashion, sends out a text inviting a select few to Surrey County and blames liability insurance as the reason. Don't understand that. Don't understand that. I don't think that's a thing. But she, it's not. So she originally invites Giselle, Ashley, Wendy, Candace, and obvi- Giselle declines immediately. Do you think Giselle should have declined? No. Giselle, you need to film. You're not that. When you decline, you're really risking yourself yeah. being here. However, when they went backwards to her conversation with Karen and how basically like the reason she doesn't want to be around Candace is because, sorry, did you hear that ding? Sure did. My bad. I left my little <laughs> email open. Um, I just closed it. Anyways, so the reason she doesn't want to film with Candace is because at the reunion when Candace was like saying like your privileged white looking ass and it's like she's not a white woman, which it's like that's so disrespectful to say. So I kind of get why she's mad. It's like to another level. She said she was getting like death threats after that. Basically. So it makes sense, but you got to film if you want to keep your job. So anyways... After Giselle says no, then Karen decides to invite everybody else. And the only person that says yes is Neko because obviously right she's now. new and she needs airtime. Uh, so. Wendy, I don't know why Wendy didn't film because listen, Wendy, you, not Wendy, Mia, Mia, you need money. I know. I love me some Mia. I don't think Mia would have gone without Giselle or Robin. She, she like, said, I'm still stuck on the original invite. Yeah. <laughs> And Karen's like, that's a you problem. I'm like, is it Karen? Is she it? said, cool, Mia. <laughs> is it Karen? I find it interesting that, like, no matter what, Ashley and Candace, like, can get along. But, like, they have the worst, like, fights of everyone. It's just, I guess their fights aren't that deep. I, I think know. Ashley can get along with anyone because she doesn't really give a shit. She's, this is, like, a job yeah. for her, which is, is what I like. And she's, like, the number one actress supporting yeah. the role. So they all go, and so that means, like, Giselle, Robin, like, they don't really get any scenes, except for the beginning when Giselle and Ashley are talking about their apparel line. No. Have you guys seen the website? It's got, like, six things on it. Oh, God. Just, neither of them 
are who I look to for fashion inspiration. Yeah. Like, come on, stay in your lane. And it's not apparel. Anyone can do athleisure, but I don't know. I won't be buying any, probably. I'd buy an embellished hat first. Just saying. Is embellished still open? I maybe I will buy it. Probably not. How do you think they're affording that house? I know Embellish is still open. Anywho. So they go to Surrey where they like end up cleaning Karen's grandma's house. I don't know what they're, they're like raking outside. Yeah. And then NECA and Wendy like kind of get back into it. But I'm just like, I don't understand how Wendy spun this around to like NECA owes her some sort of apology. It doesn't make sense to me. Make it make sense to me, please. I can't. Because it doesn't make sense. Wendy called her a bitch and a crackhead. <laughs> and somehow NECA, NECA was just being nice by like extending an olive branch because they're in the same group. Embellished is still open. Thank you. They I'm don't have a lot of products. Her. I know they have a little leopard hat. The one that Karen was supposed yeah, to be the model a lot for, of their but it was an ugly photo. Out. A lot of their stuff is sold out. See, she's oh. doing so well. In case she, <laughs> she has did a one run. She didn't do any restock. <laughs> She's doing so great. Well, Potomac, I hate to say it, but you're probably going to have to take a little break or do a big cast reboot. Even people on Watch What Happens Live are saying Potomac's not so great this season. It's not good. When your guests are saying that to you on your show, Andy Cohen, it's not good. It's not good. Um, Married to Medicine was a little more exciting this week. Did you end up watching? Mm Mm-hmm. So then you saw the special guest appearance from Dwight? Obsessed. I I need him back on my TV. I know. I love him. What's so funny is, like, wasn't he, like, Nini's gay first? How did he become Phaedra's gay? Nini's not on TV anymore. Mm. But, I mean, he was Phaedra's gay in the beginning of, like, her time, too. Like, he is the person there that's giving Aiden all the cakes at his first birthday party. I just wonder, Atlanta must be a lot smaller than we think. I think when you like sort of run in the same social circles yeah yeah well we got to talk about something though with that birthday party what what the fuck was phaedra wearing oh did you think she didn't have pants on too no like i knew what they were but like for a 13 year old's birthday party what come on man they, they were just no. pants she looked ridiculous you thought she like looked it. ridiculous? Did you see Heavenly at the medical mixer? She looks like the medical mistress. Oh, so you guys haven't watched. I put up a poll of medical mixer and medical mistress, but since you guys haven't watched the previous seasons, some people stated that, like, I forget if it was Quad, maybe? They said Quad was a medical mistress. So that's, like, when you just date doctors until you, like, find one that bites, basically. Hmm. But what was she wearing? What was she wearing? Her whole was ass was out. Like a costume. It was like, it was like, are you performing? Are you Beyonce's <laughs> like non-stunt double? What are you wearing? It was a lot. I didn't think Phaedra's outfit was that bad. Is it the, what is it? The nude colored pants that bothered you? I think it was the nude colored pants with a cut like shirt that just like over to the, I don't know. It was asymmetrical. All it was an asymmetrical I, jean top. I, I was also not a fan of her outfit. I mean, I, I wouldn't know. wear it. But I wasn't offended by it. I was offended by Heavenly's outfit. <laughs> offended. <laughs> uh, offended. The medical community is offended. The anesthesiologist community is going to write another fucking post <laughs> about it. Statement. <laughs> so they're going on a cast trip. They're going to Hilton Head. Just to catch you guys up to speed. Curtis cheated on Jackie. I think it was like maybe season five or six. She used to work an awful lot. She would never come home. Not that that's a good excuse, but that was his excuse as to why he cheated. And he used to take the mistress to Hilton Head. Honestly, even knowing that, I like didn't think it was a big deal. I'm like, Hilton Head makes sense. It's like a sprinter bus ride away, you know? But mm-hmm. they made it a very big deal. So, I don't know. Do you think Hilton Head should be off limits due to that, now that you have that information? I think it's Jackie's call. Like, if she's like, yeah, I'm cool with going, then cool we go. And if she's not, then you don't. So the other thing is, is that Simone and Cecil are usually the planners of the couple's trip. It's a, it's a couple's trip. And they are usually the planners. They let, like, Toya do it once. It didn't go very well. So Jackie was never going to be the planner. But I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like, I don't, obviously Simone didn't do it maliciously, I don't think. But I'm just like, do we, ha- it's like, do we have to take a whole, like, tourist location off the 
off the radar because someone cheated there? I don't know. I'm just glad it gave us something good to watch. I mean, a lot of people cheat in Vegas. Should no one go there? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's just my opinion. But then you're kind of getting a little more of, like, the true heavenly who, like, inserts herself in other people's shit all the time. <laughs> like, she was, like, outraged for Jackie. But it sounds like – so in the end of the episode, she says Curtis doesn't want to go. But then you see the scenes for the next, and obviously they do go. And Jackie and Sweet Tea get into it. Sweet Tea was on Watch What Happens Live. I thought she did a good job, too. I like her. I do, too. <laughs> I think she's great. Love her. A little country bumpkin she is. Um, all right, let's talk VPR. Want to hear your thoughts about it? We got a new intro to, to lead us in. What'd you think of it? I liked it. I, I liked, liked the, the new intro. intro. I did too. Same. Do you I see the too. speculative reason why they are Tom and Tom are doing their intro at Tom Tom is because Greg said you can't shoot at Schwartz and Sandy's anymore. Mm. I think that's probably accurate. And he mm-hmm. is like the 51% owner, right? Yeah, he's probably pissed yeah. because business is probably down because, I mean, Tom even said it was bad. I think that uh, after the whole Scandal thing, like... Yeah. What is that? Your dogs? It's not my dogs. They're right here. Oh. Oh, it's outside. I can't hear that well with the headphones on. It's dogs outside. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I'm like, what is that, you guys? Turn your fucking microphones off. (laughs) It's me. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Dog fight in my neighborhood. I don't even know what we were talking about. Oh, so during Scandal, obviously, like, Shorts and Sandy's got, like, a bad rap, whatever. They had to let people go. But now I'm like, Greg, you may want to film there because it would bring the people back in. Mm -hmm. Just also what I'm thinking. Were you agreeing with her? Or did you was have, that a like, question? No, I said also what I'm thinking. Like, oh, I you're thinking that too. I thought you were like also what I'm thinking. Then there was more to the sentence. Uh, <laughs> I did too. I didn't know what happened right there. Did you forget? Wow. Were we all no. having a stroke today? Like a small one. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why did they stop talking? <laughs> I was waiting for the end was of the sentence. Did I say something? <laughs> I'm dying. Oh no, I agree. They should start filming there. Yeah. Hello. Like, not a great business decision. But, and the same token, they want it to be a real restaurant and they don't want it to be a restaurant built on like TV notoriety. But, don't I mean, that that's what it's right. TV like, stars. you went into business I mean, with two owner. reality stars. So, that's what yeah. it is built on. Nobody's coming there for the food. I'm just yeah. going to be no. honest. Or the ambiance. Yeah. I'm coming there to see if I can see someone. It, exactly. Exactly. So what I didn't love, let's say, about the episode is just that I feel like they just took us back, like, I don't know, nine months in time to stuff we already know about. So I agree with you. However, as I was doing research, you have to remember they started filming like a month after, like, or maybe two months after they found out. Yeah. So this is like, yes, they just, they need to move faster with yeah. putting it out on TV, but this well, is filmed so quickly after Ariana I found feel like out. Then leave some of this on the cutting room floor. Like all of it, we knew. We watched them all. Wa- we, there was millions of footage, footages. <laughs> There's millions of <laughs> footages, footages of them <laughs> going into Tom Tom for that first night. There's tons of footage of Ariana dancing in that stupid jean dress, like. There's so much footage of that that we've seen. It's just like, I felt like I knew every, I'm like, did I watch this already? Like, Mm -hmm. how did I not, um, it was just, it was a lot of stuff we already knew. So there's that. But yeah, I get it. They got to tell the story. They got to tell the story. So I don't know. I know that I'm going to get annoyed with Ariana pretty soon though. I I feel already. You're not the only one. Like I've seen that sentiment a lot on Reddit. If you look at our Twitter, there's a lot of retweets about that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think everyone just like, she's the same Ariana we didn't love before. So I don't, yeah. it's like, she's going to come back. She kind of said that too on, I think I'm going to watch what happens live that like, by the end of the season, you probably won't like her anymore. Or, <laughs> or like people will be feeling bad for Tom basically. But anywho, Tom was not there. So no Sandoval, a whole episode. He was filming. Um, what's the, the show yeah. that we just stopped talking about? What was it? 
Um, God, I forgot we watched Special it. Forces. Yeah, Special, Special Forces. Forces. Yeah, I watched it until like the last two episodes, and then I had to go back to work. So. He quit. Yeah, he quit. Little baby back bitch. Yeah, little bitch. Anyways, did he quit or did they send him home? He quit. Oh, okay. He quit. He and cried he... and then quit. Yeah. Remember he was crying in the, it was when they were in the torture room where like they were, all they kept hearing in their headphones was babies screaming and stuff. And then he was like, <laughs> and they pulled him out thinking he was hypothermic. And then all of a sudden he was like, fine. And they're like, wow, what an act that he was crying in that room just to get pulled out. And then he like was kind of a douche in the, his like interview. And then he like quit basically. Okay. Bye. Anywho. So James and Allie buy a house in Burbank, number one guy in Burbank right under the airport. <laughs> they did him so dirty with all those like plane shots yeah, yeah i was so cackling funny. it was so funny but the house looks really nice and it has a pool and i bet you it's well over a million dollars it was it was like 1.2 i think did you look it up on zillow uh i actually saw a tiktok and they showed all of the houses <laughs> i heard it on crap it's too, that it was 1.2 yeah. and yeah. i believe it too actually yeah. but i do look up everything on zillow so you're thorough you and be. i love well, that all those houses there. like the valley village houses are like like well over 1.5 oh yeah easy yeah those farmhouses i hate farmhouse chic (sighs) (laughs) none of you have farmhouse chic in your house right no No. but if you do we still welcome you i don't i won't i welcome you to hang up no i'm just kidding (laughs) 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 i welcome you to change your design concept (laughs) anywho so they go to tom tom for James's performance, number one guy in the group, number one guy in Burbank, everyone. And, you know, Lisa's there. It was good to see Ken Todd still alive. I mm-hmm. always like to double check on him and some of the dogs and make sure they're all alive still. And he was there. <laughs> he looks so old, though. I can't imagine he's going to last much longer. Yeah, it's old. He he's partied old. hard, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Restaurant industry, industry, like, really wears on you, too. He could be, like, 60 for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> But he looks terrible. Also, like, Lisa, why do you have the same interview look for, like, season after season? The same pink silk button down, the same giant belt, like, the same interview look for season after season after season. Like, get something new. I like consistency. She found what works for her. I mean, the consistency in that is also that her boobs are always out. Always there for the party. Gotta let let them be. Yep. Um, What did you guys think of Lala feeling bad for, like, Rachel? And then reaching out to her. Listen, somebody had to do it. It wasn't going to be Sheena. It wasn't going to be Ariana. And it wasn't going to be Katie. So. Well, I think Sheena's legally bound not to. Exactly. So <laughs> I think it had the producer's fingerprints all over yeah, to so, leave the door open for her well, to come back. The thing is, is she was on Watch What Happens Live with Michael Rapaport, who I'm obsessed with, by the way. Michael Rapp- I love Michael Rapaport. What? Ew, what? What's to ew? Like He's him. so funny. I don't fucking like him. Really? Hmm. Yeah. I like him. What don't you like about him? <laughs> just wondering. I don't like him. I just, I don't like him. I'm allowed to just not like somebody. There usually is like reasons. Like no? He annoys me. I just don't like his oh, vibe. I, I think, he's, I so think he's annoying. He has a new Netflix movie. It's like called like Old Dad or something like that. I like it. Anywho, she basically oh, my husband said. husband watched that. It's funny. She basically said on Watch What Happens Live like really quickly that they didn't know she wasn't coming back yet. So like her motivation yeah, yeah. in reaching out was basically that she thought she was going to have to film with her. And that yeah. would have been smart because she would have been the only one filming with her, which means she would have gotten in more scenes. So Agreed. at the end if of the day, Lala is just selfish. <laughs> That's what I learned. I guess we're not going to see um, Ocean though, because... I think that's good though. I actually agree with um, Randall. So And, yeah. and Lala's yeah. like, I don't fucking care, so... It's good to reduce your child's digital footprint. Exactly. Summer Moon, not so much, but. <laughs> Tom Sandoval blocking Summer Moon yeah, is the funniest shit ever. Wait, also she spelled her name wrong and they were like, yay, good job. She said S-U-M-E-R. I'm like, aren't there two M's? <laughs> I guess not. They there were like, is. great job. I'm like, you guys shouldn't fucking spell it right, you two idiots. But she's also like a baby. I mean, well, I know, but like, don't tell her good job. Like, say you missed an M, spell it with her. I don't know. What the fuck? She got moon right. Way to go. So Four letters, would, Summer. Either of you um, block a toddler on Instagram? Yeah, if I had to. Ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, block, I yeah. block anybody for any reason, so. Yeah, probably. If I, if I don't like their parents, probably. Yeah. Well, and the whole thing, 
Sheena's running the account. Tom blocked her to prevent her from doing exactly what she was trying to do. Exactly. He didn't block Summer Moon. He blocked fucking Sheena. Shiner. I know. It's not like Summer's fucking posting photos of herself. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh, uh, that's that. actually one of my pet peeves when parents have Instagrams for their children and post yep. them. Like, I went to the beach. No, bitch. You can't even fucking spell Summer. You didn't spell I went <laughs> to the beach. It's even better when people do it for their dogs. They're like, I love my paw wins. <laughs> hey. Woof. Don't you, <laughs> my dog Bella's Facebook page. I'm still friends it's with her. <laughs> I'm still friends with her. I was young. I was like 20. <laughs> you guys follow Milo the dog, right? Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure do. Just piss somebody else off. Yeah. <laughs> we love it. We support your dog accounts. Sorry. I love a dog account. I don't love the writing as if you are the dog. <laughs> the dog. Yeah, that's. Well, what are you going to just write? A paw print on every yeah. picture? How are you going to know what they're doing? I don't know. Listen, don't don't have a dog account. Don't have a kid account. Get get over. I don't want to see your I'm fucking dog. I don't want to see your kid. I'm not doing <laughs> either of those things. I want to reduce the digital footprint. I might even be one of those moms that puts a little heart over my kid's face instead of showing me their face. Yeah, or only post them facing like backwards and sideways. Okay. Like Kristen Cavallari. Cavallari. <laughs> We're one in the same. <laughs> so funny. We have the same brain. You're not famous, so. Okay. Uh, I want, well, I am. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. Thank okay. You. <laughs> We've got followers. Yeah. God, Amanda. What a hater. Chuggy. Chuggy. <laughs> you are chuggy. <laughs> if you put a heart on your baby's face, I'm going to tell you you're fucking chuggy. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided how I want to parent. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll judge you wait, I need to say. I want to say one more thing about. <laughs> I want to say one more. Th- don't block my kid, okay? <laughs> I want to say one more thing about Sheena. She was talking about how like she reached out to Tom when the friend died or whatever, and then she said something like, "He makes a great brisket." I'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> he made a great brisket. We loved hanging out and made a great brisket. So I'm sure that he's dead. Up- on Reddit, and somebody, I guess that, like, he had a whole Instagram account dedicated to smoking meats oh. and brisket. So, like, took it, ver- was very into brisket. Got it. That's he great. smoked a good meat. Great. R.I.P. Well, I guess we're going to see more stuff that we already know <laughs> next week. <laughs> the whole season, it's going to be everything. We already know Graham Cracker comes back. I know. We like, also we know, know about that, about, um, what's his name? Kyle Chang's gold party and like the whole guy that throws the flowers and I don't like I don't like knowing the season before the stupid internet you ruin everything okay I love the internet because you're a troll yeah you're a troll thank you trolls love the internet that's where you live that's how you (laughs) feed your little bridge that's how you eat I live on the the internet it's the way you eat all right, we have two cash trips going on still in Beverly Hills and Miami. I like a cash trip. I just think it's it's a nice episode. Nothing too much Fresh to say about it, but yeah. Crystal had a blood pressure emergency in Spain. Let me I'm not die laughing. Like I feel a hosp- no. Let me die before you send me to a hospital in another country. Just, I, just- let it- <laughs> I don't even want to go to the hospital in fucking Florida, let alone fucking Spain. Well, Doctor Anna Marie came to her rescue. Thank God. For My that. favorite was Anna Marie saying, "I'm gonna go with her," and the producers were like, "Yeah, we're gonna send Gavin." <laughs> I don't like how in front of her, she's like, "I don't want her to have a cardiac arrest or something." I'm like, "What are you she's doing?" Gonna stroke out. She's so, gonna stroke out. I'm like, "That'll help." Anna Marie's thing is her career defines who she is and her personality. So, like, she works that in Oof. in everything that she does, and it's like, "Come on, man!" I don't. I don't want to be a hater, but you're like, you're you're a nurse. So relax. Well, well, disagree. That might not be a nice thing to say. <laughs> I mean, That's her old. job is hard. That's no, old. I get it. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying, like, there's. I have a lot of friends that are nurses, and it's not their entire personality. And then, I mean, you see it in every profession. Yeah, like people define who they are based on the work that they do. And I just not I don't me care for that. I give people advice all day, and I'm like, don't fucking come to me for advice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, anywho, I love a drunk Erica. I just wanted to say that. Wild. I love a drunk Erica. Wild woman. She's like, um, I just have something to say. Merce is in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Merce is in the purse. 
<laughs> when Which she said, like, Amanda, were you Brooklyn's offended? Trash. Yeah, were you offended <laughs> when she's like, Brooklyn? No, you don't live in <laughs> No, because you, you lived in I'm Queens. I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to comment. <laughs> I agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Queens, not Brooklyn. My bad. I, I was. lived in Brooklyn for a year. You guys visited oh. me when I lived in Brooklyn. We sure yeah. did. You had to FedEx yeah. me and my glasses. Oh, yeah. 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 So That's I agreed true. with her. It was the dump where I lived. Yeah. You're not getting me to cross that bridge, Alex McCord. Sorry. <laughs> Stop here trying to survive. It was just funny. I th- when she was like dancing in Garcelle's room, I just love a drunk Erica. Like yeah. just bring back a drunk Erica. Lots of Zoloft and lots of Lexapro and lots of drinks, please, Erica. Why did we have to have dinner with Garcelle's stupid friends? Sutton. Sutton. What was the word that they used? Aphrodites or something like that? It what was. was it? it was Erica and their Eurodites. Oh, yeah. Which means like people who have a well traveled, yeah, sophisticated. Yeah. Well, she kept up. It was like watching a weird like savant at dinner when she's mm-hmm. like knows all these things about like Beirut. I don't know. You listen and you ask questions and then you learn. Yeah. And she did that. Called the school of life people. Yeah. Yep. Get to know I was more. I gotta say I was a little surprised that nobody knew who Beanie Siegel was. Oh, I love Beanie Siegel. Bino Spino, smoking that la la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think they'll still be in Spain next week because Sutton's crying over this Merce fellow. Why do we need four episodes about Merce? I don't know, but she throws him on everybody. So. Oh my god, they yes. all get fucking smacked with yeah. Merce. Mm. It's. Mm. They're like, it's all over your back. Like, I just kind of wonder when you get someone back in their little box, like how much of it is really them? Because honestly, it takes a long time to incinerate bone. Like most of the like, bones are left. That's actually just like skin. It's just fleshy material, but I don't, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> it's heavy. It's ha- like, I don't. I don't know. I just don't know why we need four episodes about this person. It's like too much for me. I'm over well, it. Has she ever talked about him before? No. Is this like, okay. But I was like, did was I like miss the whole something? reason that she went to Spain was just like, this is the reason for the cash trip in Spain. Yeah. Okay. Well, but like, like, that's fine. Just actions. say it once. I don't need four episodes about it. I don't even care about Merce in the purse. And like, I, I just don't. R.I.P. Merce. Yeah. Bye Merce and bye brisket. Let's move over to Miami. <laughs> where, <God>. What? <laughs> it's just like people we don't know. Why do we need to talk about this? I don't care. <laughs> My deepest condolences. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking canceled. Why? Why do I have to care about that? I'm not canceled for not caring about that. You don't have that. to care, but I don't think you should say condolences. Fuck off. <laughs> My deepest <laughs> It was two sentences, Darcy. It was my deepest condolences, period. And then fuck off. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Period. Exclamation point. (sighs) I would never put an exclamation point. That is so aggressive. I would just put a period. Oh, that the exclamation point is what's aggressive. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I love a good exclamation point. This podcast has been derailed and I love it. And don't fucking edit me out today. Hold on. Somebody, somebody trolled me on uh, Reddit the other day. I was talking about something and I was doing, I did ellipsis, ellipsis, ellipsis. And I, I wrote a sentence and I did ellipsis. And the guy, I did it like three times. The guy's like, yeah, chill with the ellipsis. Like, <laughs> I commented on Why like, did you oh, put so face. many? I don't know. I just always do that when I just dot, dot, dot. I don't know. And then I write another sentence, dot, dot, dot. I don't oh, know. Is that and what I ellipsis said, are? The dot, dot, dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So then I said. I thought You're I was wrong. thinking parentheses. I'm like, why are you putting so many parentheses? <laughs> I got oh my god! And I was like, I agree. So now I don't do any because I can't. He's probably That's how you learn. It's gross. I actually gross. put a dash a lot. Like oh, it's, I do not instead like of dashes. ending a sentence and starting a new one, <laughs> I like dash. continuation of my thought. Dash. <laughs> All right, let's go to Mexico City. The girls in Miami are still in Mexico City, and we start off with Lisa talking about Lenny. Big surprise. Yeah, Do you think she Lisa's... should have signed the settlement, stating that a man can never live with her? Yeah, yeah. I actually do agree. Yeah. But he wouldn't sign it, stating that his He pays wife... for his shit, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. Well, she's going to pay for hers, too, once the settlement goes through, isn't she? No, he's buying her the house. Yeah, but 
Oh, yeah. so it's if she gets her own house, house, then she can live with someone. Yeah, if she buys her own house, then she can live with somebody. But if Lenny, if she's living in the house that Lenny buys for him, her, he doesn't want another man in there. And I agree with him. Sorry. Hmm. I think it being indefinite, like forever, right? It's a little, it's a little insane. Weird. Like if you're so with buy somebody, buy your own for, fucking house. But it, why are you yelling at me? That's a man. It is exclamation <laughs> point. I feel like it is still a way to control her and like. The setup of their relationship was that he takes care of her. So in their divorce, he should still have to take care of her. So then say, I don't want a house. I want an extra $4 million and then buy your own fucking house. Yeah. But then they would have to go to court. So she's not going to say that, I guess. Well, but I, it's not fled. over, so I don't, it doesn't work out. Because it's not no, over yet. No, no. I think they, you know, I don't know. That's I, weird. It's still not over. Just because they finalized doesn't mean that they're divorced, but... But I thought they were still fighting. Remember okay. the whole stuff that okay. happened at like Christmas with the mm-hmm. with the all of them like on each other's Instagram posts and stuff like that. So I don't think it's even. I don't. I don't know what happens, but I feel like the settlement he doesn't sign. And it. like you said, Jody's paying half her rent now, right? I think so. so she does. She's not in the house that Lenny apparently was supposed to buy her. Do you guys want to read my other note that I wrote here? It says whores in church. <laughs> 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 it was just to remind me that they went to church. <laughs> Did you know I learned that the Virgin Mary is called the Virgin Guadalupe in Mexico? Yeah. Didn't know. Didn't I know. did learn that on this episode. Mm-hmm. It was a really pretty church. That was nice. Mm-hmm. It was a nice moment. Nice for them. And then they go on the gondola ride. And all hell breaks loose. The Miami <laughs> mommies. Yeah, it was a lot. I gotta say no one is team Lisa. I didn't even post a poll because it just seemed like a waste of time. So she goes to feed the dogs that she sees on the side, but she's just kind of like when she brought the Honda Fit and like said, you guys wanted me to get a cheap car. So I took my nannies like just very tone deaf, deaf, very Dorito-ish, Dorito. She's being a Dorito. Yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It's not a good look. No, everyone's like, Lisa, shut up and just sit down. She can't like control herself, though. Like, mm-hmm. once she's going, she cannot stop. It's too much. It well, then her why Lenny cheated on her ass. Yeah, I think she's annoying to be with. I think Larsa was very right. She's like... <laughs> yeah. She was like, <laughs> no one else will never find another Jody. I mean, I think Jody's weird, so... It's probably yeah. why he's with her. Larsa he saying her. that was very Ramona to Bethany. <laughs> You're going to be all alone. <laughs> you have no friends. You have J- All you have is Jason. You'll probably push him away too. <laughs> is she wrong? No. no. No, she's not. Well, I don't know. I, do, I'm, I, I think that it could have been a, like a nice season for Lisa to gain some fan support during a tough time, but she's not making it easy to support her. At all. She's no. just not. She's just not bright. I actually am team Larsa. You're a baby. <laughs> I mean, it's shocking to me to agree with Larsa on something. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we are. I don't know. I, I think I'm like, I think I like Larsa a lot. I don't hate Larsa. <laughs> I mean, I know that it's like fucked up that she's like going at it with Gertie when Gertie's sick, but like, I don't hate yeah, Larsa. Yeah, but she's just like, this she my She just job. says what it is. I think it's yeah. funny. I really do. Um, tonight we have Southern Hospitality again and Traders, and we'll be back next week. You guys have anything else? No. All right, then. If you like what you heard here, follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. You can follow us on our socials. We're on Instagram at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on threads at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on TikTok at Bougie Bravo Bitches, and on Twitter at Bougie Bravo Bees. We have a Facebook group. We also have a YouTube channel. That's it, bitch. (laughs) Oh, 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 oh,